Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to New Jersey here in Farming Simulator 22 with me Siwadi. We are seeding third field of sorghum or at least I'm currently doing the headlands for the third field of sorghum. The case is working away over there on the second field. Um, we've also got the um, uh, little the little Antonio Carrero tractor um, fertilizing the olive field at the moment. Ah, because you've got your iPad set up in German. Okay, yeah, that, I suppose that makes sense. Changing it over to English would be a bit of a cause you a bit of a problem. It's just a suggestion. It was just a suggestion. You you do whatever you, you're comfortable with, Mr. Helgi. If typing in chat is obviously difficult for you, you don't have to do it. As long as I know you're here lurking, that's fine. It's just that obviously I am viewing... The, to, for me to view the stream and see the chat and the activity feed and mod actions and stuff, I have to view it in a browser on my iPad. I can't use the app because the app only shows me the stream. It doesn't show me any of the chat or anything. So I'm having to use the browser on the iPad. And sometimes, because Kick is still in beta at the moment, um, the website the, the website kind of freezes and people are chatting away. And obviously the, te the chat on my screen doesn't update because it's like frozen and I have to refresh. Um, so if people are, are posting stuff in the chat and I'm not, replying it or after a few minutes or so i've not kind of replied to a question or something um um i don't know how you'll tell me <laughs> i don't know how you will be able to tell me that the the chat is frozen on my screen and i need to refresh but that is what i would need to do but for everyone on youtube you don't have that problem you can leave all your post all your comments in the comment section down below and i will see those perfectly fine because the chat does work here on YouTube. I know a lot of you don't use it. Most of you watching the video never ever leave me a comment. But it does work. <laughs> so yeah, we should be well on course today. Getting all this done. I don't, like I say, I don't think we have to do any rolling. Which is great. That is very good. Probably should have swapped these two tractors over actually and had the um had the case on this cedar here because this is a, a, a far more power a, a much bigger cedar that requires more power to pull it and i know the case is definitely a lot more powerful than this um new holland well i wasn't thinking at the time was i of using the case i just grabbed which the first tractor that i thought was free which was the new holland But yeah, we've done a lot. Why do I keep buying multiple of things? Multiple of what? What is it you're buying? I can imagine you only do that, excuse me, you only do that if you maybe double hit the buy button in the store menu.
Yeah, sorghum is in. Around the telegraph, but we don't. We won't do a, co a Jeremy Clarkson and drive through the telegraph pole. We won't, or try to drive through the telegraph pole because that doesn't really work very well with farm equipment. Farm equipment and telegraph poles, not good best fellows. Yesterday you bought six of the same job tractors. You bought six track of the same tractors? Um, how many times did you press the buy button? JCB tractors. Okay. Well, that's not a problem because there's nothing wrong with JCB tractors. JCB tractors are actually pretty cool. But yeah, normally the only way you can buy multiple of things is if you, you have an issue with the button. Either you get a, 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 the, the button on your controller is a little bit sticky. Or um, you double key press. Or something. And normally it asks you if you want to confirm as well, so... Um, that's a little bit confusing. Because I don't really see how you can buy multiple tractors. Um, You were spamming you were spamming the buy button. <laughs> Why have I crashed into the trees? Yeah, just don't don't spam the buy button. That would be the big thing. Just click it just click it once. Let the the, the pop-up appear, then click it again um, to confirm, and then obviously oh, these horrible little trees. So oh. Does not let you enter text at all. That's strange. Uh, do I have a chainsaw? I don't have... Why don't I not have a chainsaw? On this map. Cutting down these stupid little trees. Yeah, you could always open up Chrome on your iPad and just go to the Kick browser on the in the browser on your iPad. That would work as well. And you should be able to type then in chat then as well. That's like like Bark says, because honestly, that's that's kind of how I use Kick. I tend to open it up in the browser. The only problem is sometimes the browser freezes and you have to then refresh if you suddenly notice like 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 the chat's not updating or it looks like nothing's happening in the stream. And the, the guy, the person streaming has, like, frozen. <laughs> He's just kind of sat there like... Alright, I think I'm going to have this guy work up and down the field. That will be the best way of doing it. I do believe. That will be the best way. All right, let's go check in with Mr. Case. Make sure he's doing okay today. Oh, actually, let's have a look at the sprayer. The sprayer. This lovely lady here is doing an... Is it a lady? Just check. Don't want to insult the guy. <laughs> it is indeed a lady. This lovely lady is doing an excellent job of spraying my olives.
Unfortunately, the fertilizer state is not counting. <laughs> uh, it's not counting the um, change in fertilizer. Oh dear. You need the tractors, but don't know what for yet. Okay. Mush. Are you doing contracts? Are you getting are you getting the tractors from the contracts menu? Because you're 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 taking contracts which are giving you JCB tractors. Is that what's happening, Oscar? Some jobs will give you um JCBs for um doing contracts. Normally um harvesting contracts tend to give you JCBs, like if you're doing potatoes or sugar beets. Harvesting, they will give you um, contracts. So you're not doing contracts. Okay, you ju you just wanted to buy six JCBs for for the future, for using on different jobs down the road. So seeding, cultivating, fertilizing, weeding, um, trailer running. You just like JCB tr tractors. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. I understand some people like to use all the same machine and keep everything level um, on their playthroughs. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly, perfectly sensible way of doing things. I think I arrived to the future is this text-to-speech. <laughs> text-to-speech. Right. Well, I was going to go fertilise the um, um, grapes, but I'm not going to bother now because obviously uh, I don't think it works. I don't think the um, I don't think the fertiliser state is working because I didn't get any on the olives. Um, We can do a quick little experiment, though, can't we? By just checking a little bit of land on the grapes. Oh, well, it's working on the grapes. Now you will spam the chat. <laughs> Wait, where, where, where's my moderator? Where's Lee? Mr. Helgi might be spamming. <laughs> so actually, the grapes are working. So I can fertilise the grapes. That's not a problem. I think you are the moderator. You might be the only moderator here at the minute, Mr. Helgi. So. You've really got your work cut out then today. Because you've got to police the chat and make sure everybody's behaved. Save me from all the trolls. Right, this is what we're going to do. We'll clear that course. Then, we're going to pick a new course. Target is not on a field. Is it not? It can be. Uh, left side of the vine. Vines to skip none. We can do that. Cool, steady on, boy. You like to get a little bit carried away, you do. Right, we can start him off. Right, you can go now and fertilise all these lovely grapes. Look at him! It's Iron Man! <laughs> 
Iron Man's doing the great hot spray spraying. Right, I'm back properly now. Excellent. So your phone's all set up. You're all ready to communicate with the world and everything. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right, we are all caught with everything, as far as I'm aware. Right, yeah, sadly people can call you. Yeah, I hate that. I had a call earlier. Well, was it last night? Was it yesterday? I had a call from somebody again trying to sell me mobile phones, and it's just... Absolute scam city. Yeah, Edinburgh. Somebody from Edinburgh, Scotland called me. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to block that number whilst I remember to block it. So they can't ring me again, scumbags. I'm also going to do the one from Ballydorn in Ireland. Because they also ring me trying to sell me new mobile phones. And they always do it. For some reason, they always do it when I'm playing on this map in Farming Simulator. They always do it when I'm playing on this map. It's like they know. I was trained to do my intros and outros by Mr. Miyagi. Wax on, wax off. Yeah, wax on, wax up. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a, a Karate Kid dude. I was there for the original Karate Kid when that movie came out originally. I'm old enough to remember the original movie first coming out. I had all the little toys and everything I did back in the day. And obviously Cobra Kai has just been an absolute, well, it's been a trip down memory lane for me. I've really enjoyed watching Cobra Kai on Netflix and YouTube. <laughs> I think the next season's the last one, isn't it? Of Cobra Kai. I think they announced it was going to be the last season. Which is a little bit of a shame. <laughs> but I guess they can't keep making it forever. Mr. Helgi remembers when he was young they didn't even have bones. No. You had yoghurt pots and bits of string, didn't you? You wanted to talk to people. And you had to be in the same room. <laughs> You used to have to send carrier pigeon, didn't you? People. Like in Game of Thrones, you had to use ravens. <laughs> Mr. Helgi has leveled up to level 7. Bloody hell, Mr. Helgi. Level 7 already? But yeah, the sorghum is going in great. We're going to have all these fields planted 1st of April. And then whenever the... Um, 
Um, and then we're not going to have anything else to do then for the rest of the month. I'll be able to just move um, animals around off camera. <laughs> I'll have to move loads of animals and then I have to skip through lots of months to harvest season. Fast forward the time. But yeah, drop that cedar down, friend. Let's go first person. Do do do. Do 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 do. Does that improve your ability to talk? I don't know, Mr. Helgi. I just think it just shows that you've been obviously on this channel for a long time. You've been very active in the chat. And you've been an active member of the community. The more active you are, the higher level you get. <laughs> Barker coming in there with the cruel, cruel, cruel. Like I say, animal-wise, uh, we have got plenty of animals to get rid of. Um, I mean, we've got lots of chickens, look. Mm. Which we need to do something with. Text-to-speech says Parker lol. <laughs> Milady. That's from Thunderbirds. Parker is always from Thunderbirds. And obviously we've got plenty of pigs that we can be selling and getting rid of. Um, uh, moving to the uh, production. So let's have a look at our productions. Oh, we've run out of sugar. I have a feeling we was meant to do something with sugar a while ago, weren't we? Uh, maybe I forgot. The dairy's also run out of sugar. Perhaps I need to go and buy some. Maybe that is something we will have to do in April is check all these productions and make sure we have got stuff moving. We've got plenty of flour being distributed. That's okay. We've got plenty of wool. Still got plenty of water. Uh, eggs are okay. We've got plenty of eggs being distributed. In fact, we're starting to really build up on eggs. We've got 63,000 litres. Perhaps we should sell some of those. Uh, all our greenhouses are hard at work. They don't need anything. And I have to start putting manure in some of them now. As well. And maybe we can start looking to switch some of the others over to things with manure. Right, we have got plenty of French fries. Obviously, I think we've run out of potatoes probably on those, I would think. Potatoes are probably the missing ingredient. They are. We've run out of potatoes. Um, and popcorn, we don't have any salt. Salt. Food salt. Oh, we've got plenty of food salt. Um, maybe I can turn popcorn on then. No, we are missing... What are we missing? Corn? Yeah, we, we haven't got any corn. Your scouse, you have your own dictionary. Yeah. I want some chicken of the catwalk. Was that the, oh, is that the, that's the, um, was it, the, the, the Jimmy Carr? Um, that's how you, how to, how to, how to speak in a Scouse accent. You just repeatedly say the line, I want some chicken and a can of cook. And eventually you drop into a Scouse accent. <laughs> I want some chicken and a can of cook. <laughs> Is 
so yeah we've got plenty of chickens cluttering up our butchers it's the pigs we're gonna obviously gonna need to put some pigs more pigs take the rest of the pigs there that's um a job in itself um, look at that dude he's just the coolest fertilizer sprayer in the world that's how Jeremy Clarkson would look if he was doing fertilizer spraying of um, grape fields. And like I said earlier, happy birthday today to Jeremy Clarkson who celebrates his 63rd birthday. Can you still join me? Yeah, I can join you. I'll be able to join you. I'm just obviously recording a couple of videos first. I need to do that whilst I'm in the in the mode. Um, and then once I've finished my recordings, I will then be free to jump in and play on your, uh, join your game for a little bit. And then I'll have to come back and get on with my Ringwood save then. Oh, of course, I've still got all these bloody chickens. Uh, that's why I can't move the pigs. Because I'm full of chickens still. Uh, we're going to have to wait till the morning. I didn't I didn't think of that. Ooh, what else? No, not you. Think you need to reduce the bot, bot messages. Mm. Uh, they're supposed to be on a timer. Maybe I can increase how many messages have to elapse before it posts them. Um. Oh, it's again it, it's hard to tell cuz you know on days when there's not a lot of people in chat the messages don't appear very frequently but then obviously if there are days when there's quite a lot of chat activity it prompts the messages a lot sooner it's trying to find the balance obviously if i always had lots of people here chatting then it would be a lot easier for me to do that We might as well start moving some of this um, liquid manure. There is a minute between the last two messages. Oh yeah, they're on different timers. So the follow message and what was the one before that? Oh. Right. I'll go and sort that. No, I'll, I'll have to sort that out once I've finished the recording. Once I've finished this recording, I will um, go and adjust the lines uh, lines of chat required to um, spark the, the next message. It might be set too low for some of the messages. I've tried to space the messages out time-wise. Um, so that they don't all trigger at the same time and there's like five or ten minutes between the different bot messages. But I don't... I don't... I, get, I think the, the lines of chat override the time I think um, or I'm not sure <laughs> it's getting used to this new bot because there's obviously I'm I, on twitch I used a completely different service to do uh, a completely different system and I actually used a different an application for doing all my 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 bot and stuff and my messaging and everything um, and that was a lot easier to set up and a lot easier to determine when it auto posted stuff um, I mean obviously because kick is in beta there's not a lot of options at the moment out there for bot services and for sites that work with kick so you kind of have to use the ones that are there and then they're not brilliant because they're all in like early stages too like bot tricks is very um a lot of the features in bot tricks are coming soon coming soon or not available on kick not available on kick <laughs> i mean originally obviously when i first started here on kick i used the i used a live bot which is the the, the service that kick themselves recommended but then that, 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 that site just seemed to stop working one night and it just got like, like for over a week, nothing worked. And in the end, it was like, well, we'll, we'll try something else. 
I know they were busy working on that and trying to update that site as well, but obviously doesn't help streamers and stuff. <laughs> Livebot is never live. Yeah, I think Livebot is dead. I think that's DOA. I do. I don't think they were able to cope with the demand of people wanting to use it. Quite possibly. I, 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 from, I, I, I heard a rumour that it was like one person like developing the bot live bot system and maybe it's just too much for one person to manage all that. <laughs> I don't know. I still have them on their Discord. I need to drop into the Discord and have a look at what the live bot status currently is at. Yeah, what it what it what it really needs is someone like Streamlabs or Stream Elements to get a uh, get into it. If one of those two companies can get obviously into Kick and get integrated into Kick, that would be ideal because then obviously that would be like the one of the they'd they'd be my preferred choice to have as um my my bot possibly. Yep, so we can take this lovely liquid manure down to the... Manure storage. I don't know how much we've actually got in here. We might be able to start doing some runs again to the BGA. And selling it. Let's have a quick look. I think it shows the storage level of manure. In, uh, the slurry. Um, 717,672 litres. Yes, we might want to start sending that to the BGA then. So, off you go. You load up. And you take all that lovely liquid manure for me to the BGA. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? You got stuck. Anyway, we've got a lovely woman driver again now. That's always nicer to look at. Hopefully he's okay. Hopefully the gates on the BGA aren't closed or anything. Uh, what we can also do very quickly is Gotta move that loading wagon. Let's put it over here. Where it's not gonna be in my way. Because we wanna unload these bales into our silo.
So when we need to feed the cows, we've got all the loose silage that we can load into our lovely mixing wagon. Take care of that. And then, nicely into the loading zone. Jobs are good un. Right, I think that brings us nicely to the end of the uh, YouTube recording of today. We will have all the lovely um, seeding done for you guys when we come back for the next episode. So, people of YouTube, thank you for watching today's video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you very soon. But for now, from me, it's goodbye. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Stay safe. Cheerio. And wax on, wax off.